Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today in this video we will learn how to update Linux Mint and all these programs. There's going to be a few different methods how to do it but essentially they're going to be doing exactly the same thing. You can just pick whichever you like the best and whichever you prefer. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so all the methods are going to be similar, easy to do, and you don't have to have any special skills to do it, but it only depends which method you prefer better. In my case, I'm using them all, and I don't have any preference one over another, so I will show you all of them, and you can choose whichever you like the best. So the first method is going to be, if you have this pop-up window appear that says updates available, it's usually appearing in the upper right corner, and it's going to show you the available updates as you can see right now, there are 29 security updates and 20 software updates. And here you can choose to view the updates or you can enable automatic updates. If you already have enabled automatic updates, all the updates will be installed automatically, of course, and you don't have to worry about it. But if you don't want to install automatic updates and you would like to select them manually, then you can click on view updates. It should bring us the list of updates that will be updated. And here we can choose which one we want to update and which one we just want to skip. As you can see, there are a lot of different updates. I haven't been updating for some time and it brought me a lot of different updates here. Some of them are coming for the hardware, for example, like this Bluetooth and there is an Intel microcode. So there is a lot of different updates and some of them for the software, some of them for the Linux itself, like for the firmware, for the operating system. If you're familiar with what it does, you can highlight the one that you need or you can skip it. And as you can see, there is an icon against each one of them. So this is the kernel update, the Linux Mint update. Then this is your software update. This is your security update. So all these updates, you can choose which one you want to update. And this is your Flatpak application update, the Brave Browser, the Free Desktop, Telegram Desktop. All these updates, you can choose whichever you want to update. You just click Install Updates. I'm not going to click it right now because if I'm clicking it, it's going to start installing updates. And I want to still show you the other methods how to do it. Let's go ahead and close it right now. Another way how you can find updates in Linux Mint, for example, if you don't get that message pop up for some reason, usually it does pop up when you get new updates, but in case it doesn't, you can always go to the bottom right corner here and you can see there are also an icon showing you all the updates that are available. It says 68 updates available and it's located near the Wi-Fi icon. So if I click on it, it's going to bring up the same window. Here you can do exactly the same thing. I'm going to close it. Then another way how you can get to the updates, if you go to the bottom left corner to the menu, then in the search here, just type update. It's going to bring us this update manager. So you just click on it and it's going to open up the same exact window that we just had. So basically all the three ways to open up the update manager are doing the exactly same thing. It's just a different way to open up the update manager, but essentially it's only one method. The second method that I would like to show you I'm not going to click install updates as of yet and I would like to show you another method how to do it and the second method would be through the terminal. If you go to the bottom here and you can see there is a terminal shortcut here or you can also find it if you go to the menu here and it's on the left side here or you can even search terminal and it's going to show up here but I'm showing you all these three ways how to do it in case you don't have the shortcut here or there is no icon over here you know that you can find it through a lot of different ways. It doesn't matter which way you choose. You can just click here or here or here. It will open up the same program. So once we open up the terminal, what we got to do, we got to type sudo apt update, then press enter. It will ask you for your password to authenticate this action because Linux is very safe and it doesn't let the operating system to perform any actions without you giving it your permission. And this means you give it your password. So just type in your password that you used for authentication and it will get in touch with the databases and find all the updates that are available. As you can see here, it says 216 packages can be updated. If you would like to go ahead and update them, you just type sudo apt upgrade and then press enter and it will start upgrading. Or if you want to check the list of what's going to be updated, you can run apt list upgradable, then press enter. And as you can see, it's going to show you the whole bunch of packages that will be upgraded during this upgrade. 
I find this is more for professional users who actually know every single package that they install in. In my case, I would just install them all. So I just type sudo apt upgrade and press enter. So it says the following packages will be upgraded and it gives you all the packages that will be upgraded. So there are 215 packages, need to get 888 megabyte of archives. After this operation, 624 megabyte of additional disk space will be used. Do you want to continue? You just got to press Y and then press enter. After I press enter, it will start installing new packages. And that's basically the same thing. If I would just click install updates here, it would do the same thing. So it doesn't matter where I do it. I can choose to click install here or I can press yes here. It will install the same packages, but just using two different programs. One is going to be the update manager and another one is the terminal. You decide whether you like it this way. For myself, honestly, I like the graphical user interface better because here you can see what you're installing and it's more visible what you're doing. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to press yes here. I'm just going to use install updates here. And then we're going to try to update through this terminal and see if there's any updates still left. So just press install updates and it says this update will trigger additional changes. Then you just click yes. So it asks you for the password again. You just got to type in your password, then authenticate this action. And then you just got to wait till all the packages will be downloaded and then it will start installing them. As you can see, it goes pretty quick. It doesn't take very long, but of course it all depends on your internet connection. It might take from a few minutes to maybe like 10 minutes or 15 minutes, depending how many updates there are. And if you haven't updated for a while, there will be lots of updates. If you update regularly, then there's not going to be too many and it won't take very much time. But anyway, I'm just going to speed it up until all the updates are downloaded and installed. This way we're going to save some time. Okay, so now all the update packages are downloaded and now it's time to install the software. So it will start installing the software. Let's go ahead and check out the details. And you can see it's preparing, unpacking packages and installing them. So now depending how many updates you've got and how fast your computer is, it might also take from few minutes to maybe like 10 minutes or more, depending of course how many updates and how long you haven't been updating and how many updates there are. But in my case, as you can see, it goes pretty quick and it doesn't take very long. But anyway, I'm just going to fast forward until it's all finished and then we can see what happened. Another thing that I would like to mention that if you don't want to update the software, for example, you can skip the software manually. You can just untick those marks and just install the security updates. For example, I would prefer to have security updates installed because it just works fine the way it is and all the updates are not really necessary unless there's a new generation of software that really makes a difference but usually the software updates they just fix minor bugs that not necessarily needed and they may not be bugs for you it's up to you but you can definitely install the security updates and skip all the others if you want after the installation is finished it might require a reboot as you can see, reboot required. You have installed updates that require reboot to take effect. Please reboot your system as soon as possible. So we're just going to go ahead and reboot the system and then see if there are still updates available through the terminal. All right. So after the update, if we go to the bottom right corner, it shows us there, there is still one update available. And this is for the Telegram desktop application. I'm just going to close it for now and then go to the terminal. And we'll try to type sudo apt update, enter the password. And yeah, as you can see, there is only one package that can be upgraded. And to see the list of this package, let's go ahead and type apt list two dashes upgradable and press enter. And it says distro info data, jammy updates. And it is not actually a telegram. But anyway, let's go ahead and update it. So if I type in sudo apt upgrade, it actually says zero upgraded, zero newly installed, and one not upgraded. Hmm, that's interesting. But anyway, as you can see, all the updates that we had before, they're already been installed. We can go ahead and finish this update for the Telegram if you like. But if it's not necessary, you can just skip it. Anyway, this is how you do it. This is how you install updates on Linux Mint. Now your system is up to date. 
and it's all good to go. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting Linux Mint videos and tutorials. And if you still have any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to help you if I can. And if you want to learn more about Linux Mint terminal commands, I got another video about most popular Linux Mint terminal commands that you should know that will facilitate your use of Linux Mint operating system and you can feel yourself a lot more comfortable with Linux Mint terminal. If you're interested, go ahead and check it out. And you can also go ahead and check out other Linux Mint videos. I appreciate it very much and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.